I'm in Philadelphia this weekend working on a living room, but there's a catch. It's a rental apartment, so whatever transformation I do can't be permanent. The renters need to be able to revert the space back to exactly how it started so they can get their security deposit back. So Davida's a fashion blogger. The girl's got a serious sense of style, and she wants this living room to reflect that style. The trick is she's going to be away this weekend working, so Sheldon and I are the ones that are going to be doing the makeover and kind of surprising her on Sunday when she gets home. I'm Monica Mangan, and I believe that updating your home doesn't have to take a ton of time or money. I show people how to get Pinterest-worthy spaces that are just right for them. This is unbelievable. Give me one weekend, I'll give you five projects, and you'll have a completely transformed space by Monday. Hi, I'm Davida. And I'm Sheldon. And we just moved into a new rental property in South Philly, and our living room isn't quite up to snuff for us fashion-wise. So I'm looking to lighten the space, brighten it up, make it less bulky and heavy, and make it fun. So um, I think Monica and I will be able to work on some of your goals. I don't know if we're going to get all of them, but some of your goals, and we're going to try and break it out for you while you're gone. Break out. Oh, no. <laughs> I know Davida gave you kind of a long list of what she wants uh, for the space and what you both want, but maybe kind of run me through that a little bit. Right now, the furniture is a little bulky for her and the color scheme isn't exactly what she's looking for. And her being a fashion blogger, it's not exactly fashion forward. She mentioned some storage too. So she wants storage that's hidden, but also kind of sleek and clean lined, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And this furniture, yeah, it's, it's oversized for this space. I'm sure it's ridiculously comfortable. Oh, it is. It is. <laughs> but we could look a bit sleeker. So the key here is to completely transform this space, but to do it in a renter-friendly way that can be undone whenever you guys move out. Yeah, we could definitely use a security deposit back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, pressure's on. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bit of added pressure with Davida not being here, but I have five great projects, and when Davida gets home at the end of this weekend, she's not even gonna recognize this space. All right, so we can't paint in here, but we need to do something about this red wall. I think it's like the one thing in here that's really impacting the space. So what I've come up with is actually using temporary wallpaper. It's like a giant sticker that we're gonna put on the wall. It'll totally change the look, but no glue or paste required. We just peel, stick, and when you're done, peel it off. Oh, that sounds good. You wanna see what it looks like? Yes. All right. Ta-da! Oh. Oh, good? She'll definitely love it. So Davina's gonna love this. Guaranteed. How about Sheldon? The wallpaper? We'll see. Right, so we're peeling the back off. I mean, wallpaper's come a long way since back in the day. I mean, it's so much better than it used to be. I, I really don't know about this. This is peel and stick. It's like a giant sticker. All right, see? Perfectly fine underneath. Nice. There's your security deposit back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> When you're installing wallpaper, whether it's the traditional type or cool peel and stick wallpaper, you want to make sure that you match up your pattern before you cut each piece. That way your pattern looks seamless across the entire wall. Oh, all right, so we took care of the first big issue, which was the red wall. What do you think about the wall now that the red is gone? I actually really like it. It's, you do? Uh, yeah, I was, I was a little skeptical before, but it came out really nice. I'm so glad you like it. I was, I knew you were skeptical. <laughs> I was like, just, just believe me on this one. So now we're gonna take care of a storage issue. So what I have for you here is, it's actually a bedroom dresser. We're gonna dress it up and use it as a media unit. It's a great way to have hidden storage, but what we're gonna do is swap out the hardware on all of it with some much classier, stylish hardware, and then we're gonna add some floating shelves on either side of your TV that will kind of give the illusion and the feel of having a custom built-in on the wall. Gold spray paint will take the shelf brackets and hardware from drab to fab. I chose a ring style hardware to add a bit of a sophisticated look. The floating shelves are just simple two inch thick pine boards that'll give the illusion of custom built-ins but in a renter friendly way. All right, Sheldon, you ready to get a little crafty? Ready to give it a shot. All right, we. this is a project, we're actually gonna tackle two separate projects. We're gonna tackle accent pillows for the couch, and also some DIY artwork for a gallery wall that we're gonna put behind the couch. Really, anything can become art. We're simply framing interesting gift bags, wrapping paper, and cute file folders. 
I always say, if you love it, frame it. Sheldon, check it out. Oh, I like it. It's like legit artwork. You'd never know that, I mean, it's not real artwork. To customize our pillows, we're adding fabric medium to paint samples, turning it into a fabric paint that won't run and is safe to wash. I like to keep it simple. Brush strokes, polka dots, and color blocking are all easy modern styles with no artistic ability required. All right, Sheldon, we're going to work on another storage project, but this one's also going to add an additional pop of color to the space. So I have just a very standard bookshelf. What we're going to do is paint the back of the bookshelf with a bright color to kind of add some interest and a bit of pop. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you laugh at all the things I show you? <laughs> it's, um, it's definitely to be there. I chose this punchy coral color after checking out some of Davida's outfits of the day on her blog. It's a color I think she'll love. A lot of renters can't paint their walls, and little touches like this are a great way to add color in a creative way. All right, so Davida gets home tonight. Yeah. We have a lot to pull together still in this space, but this is our final big project of the room. We're actually gonna take care of the door area here. What I'd like to do is to build a cornice that will come down from the ceiling. It's gonna add a lot of style and kind of just mask the functionality of the blinds a little bit. I wanna see this happen. You wanna see this yeah, happen? Yeah, I wanna see this happen. Using the jigsaw, we're notching some geometric detailing on each side of the plywood to add visual interest. Then taking a curtain panel and trimming it to size, adding some soft batting and stapling it in place on the back side. Last, we'll finish it off with decorative gold nail heads to add just a bit of glam. <laughs> Wait, this looks really good. I'm loving the wallpaper. It's so light and airy. It just really brightened up the space. Oh, I get so much. <laughs> so the best part is that it's totally removable. It's literally it's peel, peel and off. stick. Oh my goodness. So there's it's no like a glue. Giant sticker. It's a, it's, did I say that? <laughs> a giant sticker. And so the artwork gallery back there, the large piece we purchased, but all the artwork on the sides were made by this guy. Oh, look at you, little crafty guy. These pillows, where, where'd you guys even find these pillows from? He actually made a lot we, of them. We painted some of them. What? Really? He's crafty. It was amazing. Oh, oh my goodness, good job. I, I, I'm just surprised that you had the vision to put all this together because I wouldn't have been able to do it. Yeah, and like I wanted curtains so bad, but I, in my mind I could not think of a way. Well, we built a cornice, so it kind of softens up the light. It also just softens the lines of the door. You add some goals of lightening and brightening, adding a lot more of your personality, and also some hidden storage. I think you guys did amazing. I like everything, it just flows, it looks so great together. It definitely fits my personality. I'm hoping that you like it too. No, I do, I do. It actually, everything actually really came together well. Well, I'm so glad you guys asked me to come help you with this project. I mean, to be honest, it's a completely different type of project that I work in. Usually I'm in a space where I can knock down a wall or paint or do anything, but having the rental element kind of threw in a different challenge. And I think we did all right. I think you did great. Oh, <laughs> I think you guys did amazing. Thanks. This weekend I'm helping out Aaron and Becca, a couple that's relocating their family from a small New York City apartment into a much more spacious home in the suburbs. We're going kind of bold with our color here. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Are you loving The Weekender? Be sure to catch all 10 episodes by subscribing to the Lowe's channel on YouTube and download the Lowe's TV app for all your streaming devices. For project details, step-by-step -step guides for every episode, visit lowes.com slash The Weekender. Thanks guys.